Woo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Where, where'd you go? What are you doing? You ready? You ready to go fishing? All right, dope. How's it going, folks? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Millie and I, what are you doing, Rick? You seen any fish? Millie and I got up extra early. Um, actually, we've been up for like an hour. That's probably why I look like a bag of wieners. But um, we got up at sunrise and it started raining. Now that I'm looking at it, it's still freaking raining. Just a, just lightly, just lightly raining. But Millie and I, we want to go fishing, man. It's a beautiful morning out here. I mean, what is better than jumping in a boat, grabbing some old dangle sticks, taking your dog with you, and catching mondos? Name one thing that's better. I'll wait. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ain't nothing better than that, folks. So, Millie and I, we are going to be doing a little bit dangling, huh, Bubba? Just a little solo mission for you guys. This is kind of like an OG classic fishing video. So, a lot of you guys are like, Flay, we're the fishing vlogs. Right here, folks, this is a fishing vlog, all right? Just me and Millie. We're going to head out to the backyard pond. This is the first time I've ever fished it early in the morning. Sun came up like 30 minutes ago. We waited a little bit because, like I said, there was a storm coming through. But now it looks like, hopefully, the, the weather should hold up. But before we get started, I want to say huge thank you to Fish Brain for sponsoring today's video. Without them it wouldn't be possible to do what I do every single day which is go out and make videos for you guys every single day so hope you guys have been enjoying the grind by the way I've been trying to post daily almost daily it's a lot of work but it's awesome because I love the feedback that I get from you guys and it seems like you guys are really enjoying it but anyway so like I said this video is sponsored by fish brain so huge shout out to those guys I will leave the app link in the description down below it is free to download go try it out folks but if you guys want fish brain pro you can get 30% off by using the link down in the description down below there's a ton of different features on fish brain I could go on and on for hours and hours and hours about it but here's the gist of it if you guys are fishermen if you like catching fish and you want to catch more fish go download the app that's basically how the app works you download it you utilize all the resources and you will catch more fish couple features you get with fish brain pros you get private waypoints you get exact catch locations you get sea map contours depth contours of lakes and stuff to where you can see kind of where all the depth is without even using a fish finder and it'll even tell you the best baits to use on that body of water given the time given the weather and given all that jazz they basically take all the leg work out of scouting and studying lakes and patterns of fish they take all that work out for you guys to where you guys can solely focus on catching fish one thing i absolutely love about fish brain more more than anything in the world is being able to go anywhere in the country pull up the app and see has anyone caught any fish in this lake before if so what have they caught and what have they caught it on that's the crazy thing all the traveling that I've done I've used fish brain the whole way anytime we go traveling down to Texas wherever it might be for fishing you pull up the app and it'll literally tell you what fish have been caught in there where they've been caught what they've been caught on they do they literally do everything for you there's millions and millions and millions of users on the app so I really really encourage you guys if you are a fisherman you like catching fish and you want to catch more fish who doesn't love catching more fish to click the link down below and go download it and go try it out it's basically the facebook but for fishing and you guys can add me i will leave my username down below you can go add me kind of see where i'm catching fish what i'm catching fish on what the fish are biting on in general it's just this huge social media group of fishermen helping other fishermen out and the good news about the whole thing is everybody catches more fish so with that being said it looks like actually the rain the rain kind of stopped millie you excited buddy Unfortunately, I will not be linking today's catches in fish brain as much as I want you guys to know where I live and where I'm catching my fish in my backyard pond. I really don't but anytime I go fishing on public waters wherever it is in the country like I said I always post that to fish brain so if you guys want to go check that out you can you can go see where I'm dangling again the whole Guggen squad we all have fish brain everybody uses fish brain out here if you're not using fish brain you're living under a rock go download the app and go catch more fish remember 30% off link down below if you guys want to go check out fish brain pro Millie and I we've got everything kind of ready to rock and roll my goal today is top water folks okay it is well it's really, really calm, which it's, it's all right for top water, but um, a little chop probably wouldn't hurt. But top water, since I got up, I didn't get up this early not to throw top water, folks. So we're going to try a little bit of top water dangling action. You guys stay tuned. In the boat. Good girl. Go to the back. Put your weight in the back, Chungus. I got to push this thing off. What do you think I'm the Hulk? See you later, Millie. Good luck. No, I'm just kidding. Come back here. I gotta go do some dangling with you, buddy. We're dangle bros, right? Dangle partners or something? Is that what the kids are calling it nowadays? So we're starting off with the black Guggen Squad Hummer. We got a little trailer hook on there just for extra added security, folks. Um, but I have not thrown a buzzbait on my pond yet. So if I catch a buzzbait fish, Poppy's gonna be a little bit excited. Millie, you wanna run the trolling water? All right, dope. But like I said, I'm starting off with the old black buzzbait. This is just a classic, folks absolute classic so i'm gonna use this oh we got a bubble trail going Shoo! it's about to get nasty out here folks you know it's gonna be a good day when you got that little bubble trail going millie you know what i'm saying 
I'm gonna use this cover some water, see if I can get an active bass up. You know, this isn't my preferred technique for really milking a spot, but before the sun gets up too much, which actually I don't think that's gonna happen. I think it's gonna stay cloudy for a good part of this morning. I'm gonna throw this buzz bait around and just see if I can catch one fish of the buzz bait, I'll be a happy camper. And then I might slow down and start throwing the old T-rig, a little bandito bug, something like that. We're getting a little bit of that grass action. It's not too bad though. What you think, Millie? You like this buzz bait? I think you might be more interested in this buzz bait than the fish. We'll see. The key to buzz bait fishing though, folks, pair allow. All right, I don't know why I said it that way. You guys know what I mean. So when you're fishing a bank like this, don't be, don't be throwing it and whining it like this, okay? Get your nose up against the bank-ish, especially, you know, if you think the fish are kind of shallow like I do today, and get parallel and throw it like this. See how much more water I'm covering per cast. I don't have to cast 4.3 trillion times to cover the uh, this pond. I can just make a cast like that. Oh, that's sick. That's how you want to do it. You're a little bit more efficient that way, this way. Not saying you can't catch fish if you're just beating the bank, but those fish, if they're going to eat this, they're going to be in that first, you know, two, three feet off the shoreline more than likely. And so the more time your bait spends in that area, the better chance you've got to actually land the fish. You guys didn't expect it, folks, did you? Little tips from Flair for fishing. I know half of you guys watching are probably, I didn't know this kid fish. Listen, I'm an old wily vet fisherman turned farmer, but hey, but he still got it, all right? Don't 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 doubt it. We're gonna catch a big one today. I'm gonna prove it to you guys. I haven't lost my touch. Oh, got one. Oh, on the buzz bait, folks. Oh, that is a hit. Let's go, Melly. We got, oh no, it came off. Melly, that was a buzz bait fish. I know, I freaking suck. I was just saying, I'm going to prove to you guys I still have it. Lost well, the old buzz bait fish. I don't know if I got a good hook in him or not. He hit like the second it hit the water. So I never even, you know, he never even like jumped on top of it. He just, he grabbed it right away. So, you know, I don't know what happened there. Your boy's a little rusty. I, I, I might still have it, but I'm a little rusty. So you got to give me a, you know, give me a minute here, all right? Hey, good news is fish in this pond, somewhat like the buzz bait. At least one fish thought this thing was pretty interesting so i've got my mondo optics on but it's so cloudy it's still pretty tough to see up oh, oh hang on folks hold on no no i lost another one no no what is even with the trailer hook even with the tra millie even with the trailer hook you ever seen milk toast go fishing well welcome back to another episode i'm gonna make a switch one of my favorite baits to throw when the fish are thinking about spawning at Alex Parrick, and that would be the old bladed jig. If you guys don't know that, it's an inside joke. We were on a podcast and talking about our favorite spawn baits, and I said that it was a bladed jig, and he made fun of me because he's like, you can't bed fish with a bladed jig. Well, watch me. I'm sticking with the moving baits though, cover some water. I've got the old saucy swimmer as a trailer, just that little, little compact bluegill color. Really good bait to throw when you're trying to find fish, similar to the buzz bait, but obviously not quite top. What did I just say? First cast, first cast, Alex. Alex freaking Parrick. Alex freaking Parrick. First cast, you can't make this up, folks. And I landed on Millie, and I landed him. And he choked it, Gonzo freaking Bonzo. Look at that. You guys think I'm making this stuff up, Mill? All it took was the, the, the switcheroo, Millie. See you later, Rick. Look at that. Fish, I fished half the whole pond already this morning, throwing top water. Sometimes they just don't want the top water, folks. There's nothing you can do about it other than, hey, put down the freaking top water and try something else. First cast. You can't make this stuff up, folks. Did I not say I was going to prove to you that your boy still had his touch? All you got to give him is that bladed jig and he's going to town. That is a great sign, folks. First freaking cast except just some sometimes your top water bite just ain't it it just ain't it i mean i've lived here uh, i moved here in august so i have not fished a super good spring yet like i haven't fished the springtime fishing what, what, what am i trying to say i've yet to fish in the spring much besides a little bit this year and so i don't really know exactly you know too much about these fish what they like what they don't like what i have noticed is they are not super super big fans of top water have i caught some top water fish here absolutely but like i've been to some ponds where you throw top water and it's the juice it just isn't like that here and i don't know what makes 
them eat top water versus not. But you throw that old bladed jig in there, right into that tree, and catch that tree pounder, like I just did, you're gonna catch yourself some fish. I'm gonna try a little black and blue Cheeto Bandito bug, always the go-to. And I've got it pegged on here, like I said, a little T-rig action, hammer hook, and go ahead and thread it up like that. Boom, and boom, and boom. Something like that, perfect. All right, all right, Millie, we're gonna go up to this bush. The bush always got the big ones. Let's try up under this tree a little bit. Oh, there's fish. Got him. There was one in the bush, Millie. There was one in the bush, Millie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Millie. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. You see him? What's he doing? What's his name? Rick? Junior? Felipe? I can't tell if you're scared or excited. Look at those puppy dog eyes. You wanna take them home and fry them? This isn't a crappie. I know you like crappie. See you later, Ricky. All right, rigging the old bandito right back up. That's a good sign. I knew there'd be one in that bush. He wasn't a big one. So that's two fish. We got one on the old bladed jig, one on the Cheeto bandito. Um, both up shallow though. So that makes me that makes me think I was throwing in the right spot, but I wasn't throwing the right bait this morning earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of work my way down and then I'm gonna work my way back and do another circuit around the pond, fishing the same spots I already did, but with a different presentation. Sometimes you just gotta give the fish what they want. It's not all about covering water. So if you're throwing the wrong bait, well, that doesn't really do you any good. You gotta make sure you're throwing the right bait while you're covering water. Got him. Came back. He came back. Do you have my Cheeto in your mouth? Yep, just a little wee guy. A little male, Melly. Millie, we got a male. You like that guy? What's his name? Junior, too. You can't name him all your fish junior. Look at that guy. He is a junior. Just males. Male, male, male. When we, we're going to stumble upon a female, folks. I, I'm telling you. It's going to happen. Just be patient with me. We got to weed, weed through the males. We're going to find old Sheila. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Got him. Millie, we're hooked up. We're hooked up, folks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Another Cheeto Bandito fish, folks. Right through the top of the mouth, right where you want him, he wasn't coming out at all. Look at that. You like slightly seem interested in the fish, slightly seem scared, slightly just want to go home and take a nap. Here's what I'm starting to notice. So this bank where I've caught a couple other fish, this is the steep side. This is the shallow side. I've yet to fish the shallow side with the Cheeto Bandito. I'm catching fish on the, on the steep side, you know, four or five feet off of the shore. So these fish are, are pretty deep. I don't know if they're spawning that deep or if they're just pushing up, but they're pretty deep. They're not super, super shallow. So it's interesting to see, you know, what fish are where. So far, there's just little males. I know I'm, I'm, this is a little bit disappointing. No, no big Sheila's, no big Bertha's yet, but we're getting there. All it takes is one. There's one. Another one. Oh, God, I can catch up. Little guy. Little guy. They're loaded on this point. Whoa, why do you look like toast? This guy, Millie, this guy is named Milk Toast. Look at this guy. He's skinny and just all toast looking. See, I, if I had a cooler, I would take you up to my little pet fish pond and grow you back to health, buddy. You know, he ain't looking too hot. So this might be toast point then, I'm not sure. That's two fish in the same spot. <laughs> right by the uh, the old doomsday shells are in the moat. Maybe there's a fish chilling in the moat, I don't know. But that's two fish now on the steep bank. I'm gonna throw in there and see if I can go for three for three. Three for three. Millie, if I do this, you gotta crown me King Beefcake. Oh, that was, oh, he's got it. King Beefcake at your service. Let's go, son. Mel, we just went through, we found the juice. We found the juice, Mel. That's number three, Junior. If I go four for four, shoo. Just call me Van Dam. See you later, buddy. Oh, there's a fish. Got him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right under the dock, son. Another male. Another skinny male. Millie, I think we need to get these guys on a different diet here. Oh, he's whizzing. We got another squeak. What do you think? Your, your, your queen squeak, Mill. 
you are queen squeak. All right, I made my way to the dam now. So there's not really any pockets on the dam or nothing. So I'm gonna go back to the old bladed jig, throw parallel, similar to what I was talking about with the buzz bait strat and cover some water. Cause there is some grass that has kind of come up. I so said, there's no pocket. So if the fish are spawning or whatever, it's gonna be pretty impossible to locate them without, you know, the sun coming out. So I'm gonna just try a little parallel and on the old bladed jig here. Cover some water until I can get back to this other shore where I started. Oh, oh, that was a fish. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's like freaking automatic out here, folks. It's almost like I know what I'm talking about. Almost, Millie. What did I just say? I said, hey, you get to a bare bank with some grass, throw the old bladed, Mel. You know what I'm saying? See you later, dude. That's how it's done right there. They might be spawning on the dam, but a lot of times they do like pockets and creeks and stuff. So whenever I get to a spot like this, some some grass that's got water on it and uh just bare banks moving bait moving bait moving bait there's one yep yep Millie, we got another one, buddy. Yep, bladed jig. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What up, Junior? Where is your mother? That's what I want to know. Where is your mother? Boom. Millie, I mean, we're somewhat killing the game for dinks. Well, what's new? I've got a feeling though, there's one in this little bush here. Maybe I'll switch through to the bandito. Anytime you got a little overhanging bush looking like this, boom. There he is. Got him. That one feels better. No, nope, maybe not. Another male. Yep. Another male, Melly. Another friggin' male. What is the deal with these fish? I don't know. You look kind of like Milk Toast, though. All right, I'm going on Bertha Patrol. Screw these little guys. We got to go look for some bed fish. See, buddy? I'm going to start just cruising until I see one. Now that the sun's out just a little bit more, I can kind of see now with my Mondo Optics, my x-ray vision's starting to get a little bit better. I'm going to start cruising for biggins because, you know, not that I'm complaining, because I'm catching fish, all right? Could be worse. But man, all these fish, they're all the same size. We gotta start doing some management, Millie. I know you were talking about eating that large earlier. We might need to. There's too many of these little suckers in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on patrol, and uh, I'm, on I'm on Sheila duty. Let's go see if we can find a big one. All right, Sheila has been acquired. I was right there, and I backed up just a little bit. I'm making sure there's not no one. It's right off this point. She's chilling, so. Come on, Cheeto, I believe in you. Let's see if this works. Oh, right in the tree. Oh, oh come on. Get out. There, perfect plot, perfect plot. Come on. Perfect plot. Come on, fish. Come on. It's big girl. It's big Sheila. Really? It's big Sheila. Throw in there again. Oh, I can't see my bait now. Bed fishing when it's cloudy. Oh, oh, she, oh, I'm gonna catch her 100%. She just, she just, she turned on it. She went up on her back. You can see her just straight belly. She's on it again. She's locked though. She's catchable. This is the most locked fish I've seen yet, and it's not a small one. It's old big Sheila. There we go, Millie. Watch out, buddy. Now we've got the right bait. I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. Hopefully she's still there. Oh, I'll be able to see this. This is the bed fish catching 3,000. Old Sheila right here, she don't stand a chance. I still see her, she's still up there. Sometimes with these bed fish, you gotta piss them off. So sometimes I'll do this and just wind it. Hey, geese, how's it going? Throw it in there. Just pop, 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 pop. Just, just get her real fired up and then throw in there and let it sit. And then she's gonna think that it's gonna run away and she'll turn on it and eat it. She's turned, she turned, she turned, come on. She turned, dude, she's gonna eat. I just gotta find the, I gotta find the spot on the bed that she hates the bait being on. Can you be quiet down just a little bit? I'm trying to bed fish. All right, I've got one bait. 
in my box. I don't think I've ever really thrown, but I know it's one of those things like where you can't get a bed fish. It's kind of a last resort deal. I'm gonna try it, Melly. You ready for this moment? This is a big moment. All right, open my box up. Let's see what this secret sauce is. This old boy, bluegill. This right here is gonna be my secret sauce. It's just a big, intimidating bluegill. You know, the old crack and craw, bandito, bladed jig. It may not just be big enough. This thing, this fish is such a beefcake, it does not care. But this big of a bluegill will pose a large enough threat, hopefully, for this fish. To where it'll crunch plus it's got treble hooks which is nice because all it's got to do is barely swipe at it and it'll get all the hooks down and up in its face so we're gonna try it if this doesn't work i don't know maybe i gotta wait for it to lock down a little bit more this afternoon it's a big girl though i guess i'm I, I don't know how big but it's if i catch it, it'll be one of the bigger fish i've ever caught in my pond it looks like a big old bertha down there so we're gonna tie this guy on hopefully my knot doesn't break now it's time to catch bertha so this bait, it kind of just, I don't know if you guys can see it all that well. I'll try to show you, but it, it's a floating, which is good for bed fishing. And it's just, it just kind of does like a little side to side glide. So if anything's going to catch it after seeing kind of what I've seen, which is a little bit tough of a fish, thinks it's, thinks it's a beefcake, thinks, hey, I don't need to worry about that little bandito. Well, this guy is going to pose a little bit bigger threat. So let's see what she thinks. Here we go, folks. Oh, she's chasing it. Yep. Come on, come on, come on. She's chased, dude. She does not like this thing. Come on, come on. She's right next to it. All right, I'm gonna pull it away, pull it away. Let her, she's gonna circle back. She's going back. She. This is gonna be it, folks. I'm telling you, folks, this is gonna be it. She hated that thing. She chased it all the way out, almost to the boat. I had to pull it out before she saw the boat. She is not a fan. So I think this is gonna, be, this this thing's gonna do the trick. Just gotta get the right cast. Oh, the first cast, she was super interested in it. Now she kind of backed up. That first cast was it. I think I think that's what it was. She's she's figured it out now. Oh, oh, she don't like that. She don't like that. She's coming to it. Come on. She didn't like it over there, so maybe her bed's on the left. Oh gosh, she's big. She's so big, Millie. All right, we're gonna give old Big Sheila a break. We couldn't get her irritated enough. Tried the one-two punch. She she came right back. I think I think just give her give her a few minutes, sneak back up with this guy. I think this is gonna be the deal. I'm just gonna cruise along. So I've caught plenty of males. I'm just gonna go look for females now. Now that I know one's on a bed, I would assume multiple would be. So I'm gonna start cruising around now. It's a little bit brighter outside, and well, we'll see if we can find another Sheila. Cause that Sheila, she just she ain't cooperating. Well. Millie and I have given them a break. About 30 minutes. Didn't see any more biggins. So we're coming back for Sheila. Round two. Well, round like 19,000. I'm going to start straight up with this gill. And see if I can get her fired up on the first cast. Millie, I know. Be patient. I'm looking for her. I don't see her. So we're just going to blind cast it. Decent. Got her. I got her. I got her. She bit it. She bit it. Big and big fish. Big fish. Oh, don't come off. She's barely hooked. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. I twitched it right in front of her face and she nipped the tail of it. We got her. Don't spit it. That's a big, that's a big old fish. Big fish. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Don't come off. Don't come off. We finally got her. We got her. We got her. Millie, we caught her. Hang on. Hang on. This is a big old fish, Millie. She's taking me out deep. She's taking me out deep. This is a big old fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's huge. It's huge. I think it's six. I think it's six. I think it's a six. Oh my gosh. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. 
Dude, this is a giant fish. Really big fish, Millie. Really big fish, Millie. I think it's a six. I think it's a six. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, don't jump. Don't jump. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. Stay down. Stay down. No, no, no. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Come here. Come here. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, calm down. Millie, this is a big fish. Sit. Here she is. Here she is. Come here. I got her. <laughs> Look at that fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a giant. It's a freaking giant. Oh my gosh, the swim bait. Look, I told you, she grabbed her right by the tail. Right by the tail. Oh my gosh. I gotta get some pictures of this thing. This thing's massive. I got a scale too. <sighs> Alright. Let's weigh this thing. Here you go. This is it's recording. Okay. Do you want me to just keep recording it? Yeah, it's recording. You just, you'll face me. I'll grab it. All right, turn the scale on here. I think it's a solid five, five and a half. It's a big fish. Millie, patience, buddy. That's all it took. 94 ounces. I know that's not in pounds, so let me, let me convert it real quick. So 94 divided by 16, 5.87, almost a six. Wow. I gotta, I'm gonna weigh this thing in. Let me turn this off. Maybe I can get some pounds. Okay. All right. Now it's on pounds now. It's on pounds now. Let's try this again. If it's a six, freak out. It says 5.9. 5.9. And 5.10 would be a six pounder. So I'm 0.1 away from a six pounder. This thing is so close. Are you? Are you 5.10? Yeah. There's no such thing as I'm just saying 5.10 would be six pounds. <laughs> Either way, I'm one tenth of a pound away from a, not, a, a six pounder. Well folks, sorry for the watermarks. We're gonna get this guy released here. This is right where I caught her off this point. We're gonna, we're gonna give her some time because we, we had her, we didn't have her out of the water very long, but we moved her a little bit. I said, I caught her. I caught her immediately called me. I was like, hey, can you run down here real quick? I need some thumbnails taken. I need some dope pictures. This is the biggest. This is my PB on my pond. Uh, almost a six pounder. So we're going to get this girl revived and get her on her way. Oh, yeah, she's breathing. Look at her gills. She's killing it. Get that grass out of there. Oh, there she goes. See you later, dude. This is right where I caught her. I'm going to get off her nest real quick. Now, I don't know if it even really makes a difference. You know, how quickly can they find their nest again or where they go build another one? Because I don't think she she even laid her eggs yet. She was, she was swimming fairly decent sized circles around there. She was pretty locked, but... I'll come check out here later tonight just to see if she made it back. Uh, I'm not going to try to catch her again or anything like that, but that was wild. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Big thanks to Fishbrain for sponsoring it. I could not believe it finally worked. Just, it's just all about persistence. You just, I took my time, threw a bunch of different baits. Luckily I threw that big giant bluegill bait in there. Um, and what ended up catching was I took like a 25, 30 minute break, came back, threw a couple times. And what I had to do was I got it right, right in front of her, right next to her. Tw popped it hard one time and she just she literally just nosed up to it went, she went right up against the tail and uh and just barely grabbed that last treble that's why i like using treble hook baits especially when they're just swiping at baits and stuff like that because there's no way she, like she didn't inhale that by any means she wasn't trying to actually eat that bait she was literally just trying to peck at it just to scare the bluegill because that's what she thinks it is. she thinks it's a bluegill and she ended up grabbing right on that back trouble so it worked out good but like i said if you guys want to download fish brain it'll be linked down below you get 30 percent off fish brain pro if you guys want and uh so far so good it was a good morning out there melee good job you killed it you killed it buddy anyways hope you guys enjoyed this classic throwback style fishing video out on the pond nothing better than that hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and peace